Hello, Creating the Future community. Thank you, Hildy and Dimitri, for inviting me to be part of this experiment. My name's Tom Dawkins, and I'm the co-founder of StartSomeGood.com, a social good crowdfunding platform, as well as a graduate from the Changemakers course run by Creating the Future. Crowdfunding is the phrase often used to describe a new type of fundraising dynamic, which allows entrepreneurs to aggregate the support from large numbers of people in smaller amounts to raise the funds that they need to launch their initiatives. We at Start Some Good, however, prefer to use the phrase peer funding. The reason we do this is because in truth there is no crowd. There is no great anonymous group of people simply waiting out there online to shower money on your idea, no matter how good your idea is. What there is, is the opportunity to use the tools provided by crowdfunding, or as we prefer to call it, peer funding, to mobilize the community support you already have in the pursuit of a future that they want to be part of. Peer funding is about, the, the, about mobilizing your peers, your pre-existing community connections. Uh, the best time to make new friends is not when you're asking them for money. Um, and so the best time to build a community is not when you're doing fundraising. The best time to fundraise is when you already have a community behind you who are united in their belief in the future that you want to create and the work that you're doing. Peer funding is simply a tool set that enables change makers to realize that latent support that already exists to, to raise the funds that they need to launch their initiatives. And this is important because it means that we are no longer waiting for someone else to save us or for someone else's permission to create the change that we need. The old model would have been that if you wanted to create change, step one would be set up a 501c3. Now that costs $800 and can take up to two years, which not everyone can afford and not everyone is prepared to wait. Once you'd done that, then and only then could you go out there and actually ask for the support you need, needed. And in most cases, that would be trying to strike it rich with a big time supporter, whether that's a corporate foundation, a big, uh, a, a big family foundation, the government, etc waiting for someone else's permission to do the work that you know needs doing. What if instead you didn't have to wait eight, two years and you didn't have to spend $800 and you didn't have to get someone else's permission, but instead you could mobilize the community around you by articulating the future that you want to create for all of you and inviting them to be part of it with you. That is the opportunity created by peer funding. It allows you to start today to do the work that's most needed by working with the people who most need the work done the community that will receive, uh, the community that, w that is going to be part of the future that you're creating. So it's aspirational, it's future focused, it's community driven, and it's about empowering local change makers, potentially like you. Um, so thank you again for this opportunity to quickly explain the work that we're doing. I look forward to the future explorations of philanthropy through the Creating the Future blog and newsletter. And now back to your regu regularly scheduled newsletter programming.